hi guys. Um, so this is for Monday's challenge. So basically, I've got my. Uh, you can use paper or anything you want, but I'm just going to use this stamp thing and uh, a container. What else do we need? Paint. We need paint, which I've got down here. And we need a lot. You'll need to do quite a few for because uh, we're going to be doing roughly three days worth of this project. So we're going to need quite a few book pages. Um, so today we're going to make marble paper. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I do have a video on it already, but since it's a challenge. I'm just going to remake one. Um, so basically all we do is grab your book page, stick it in your container, pick what paint you want to use. I'm going to go for, it doesn't matter what colours, whatever colour you prefer. So I'm going to go for this reddish colour and the uh, hmm. In green, I think. Or you could just choose one colour, it's up to you, but I usually do it with two. <coughs> so, you just put your page down. But what I'm thinking is maybe give me a sec, guys. I was prepared, but obviously not, because I just thought it was something else that I wanted to use. So, when I've done this in the past, the marbles have got a habit of rolling under the paper. So I'm thinking, if we stick the paper down, that might not happen. So, I'm just going to stick the paper. Page, the book page down onto the bottom. It's a bit old, that bit. Go onto the bottom of my um, container, and then by that way it might not roll under as much if I stick it down. If it sticks down, that is. So I'm not going to do like hundreds of pages, um, I'll let you do that yourselves. So I'm roughly just going to do one page, maybe two, and uh, let you do the rest yourselves. I'm just doing this so that the marbles don't roll under the paper. It might still roll under the paper, I don't know, but... I'm just going to try this and see. I've not tried this before, so it might work. might not. That's the whole thing about art, so that is crafts, that's crafts, is experimenting, trying different things, playing around. The only thing is obviously where you stick your um, masking tape or whatever um, is not going to be covered with the paint, but it doesn't really matter because most of the papers are going to be cut up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So basically that's all I've done so far. I'll just stick your, um, I'll just try to see if I can. So you just stick it in and then what you do is put your tape away, select your paints, 
Oh, and I see swear the baby wipes come in handy. So I have your baby wipes beside you and a few marbles. You can use one marble, you can use two, you can use three, whatever you you prefer. I usually use two because I'm doing two two colours. Um so it's up to you what you want to use. Um I've not actually used this paint yet. This red paint. Um oh, I might need to might have a wee cap on it. Let's see. Has it? I don't even know. So let's just squeeze a wee bit of your paint on here. Don't know how well this is gonna work because that's quite thick. And uh, just do the same. I think this one's got a cap on it. You can either do both at the same time or you can do one then do your other colour. Uh, which I might actually do in fact. In fact I that's what we'll do. So um I'm just gonna do it one at a time. And then by that way it's more clearer to use to see. And all you do is you get your marble and uh, dip it in the paint. I don't know how well this one's going to go because the paint is quite thick. I might need to thin it down a bit, I don't know. Just rub it in your paint until your marble's more or less coloured and then just drop it. And then, and then roll. I know you, you don't really see me doing that. But that's how you do it. Just tilt it, roll it, just keep tilting it and rolling it and you end up with a really cool pattern until your marbles more or less clean. Just keep doing it until your marbles more or less clean and yep, taking the paper down definitely helps. paint is a little too thick for me so I'm just going to, I've got a wee drop water here so I'm just going to drop a tiny wee bit of water in this Oop. and get a wee mix around just to water it down a wee bit because it is a little too thick and that might just be too much water but we'll see because you can see yourself it's not really, it's just drying up far too quick and then as I say, just keep dipping your marble in, repeating it until you're happy with your pattern. And I know I'm off camera guys, but it's kind of hard to uh, show you on camera. So. But you get the gist of what I'm doing. And you don't even have to wait until the colours are dry, or the paint's dry for your next colour if you don't want it. It's entirely up to you. So this is what I've got so far. As you can see it's really cool. So I don't really want a lot uh, because then it's going to hide the actual words as well. So maybe one more try and then I'll give it up and go for my next colour that 
out it. So this is where the baby wipes come in handy. Uh, also, I would try and uh, mop that up with something, whether it be one of your book pages for another project or um, maybe an index card. In fact, I think I've got index cards around here somewhere, so I'm just going to use my index card to pop up. So, this is going to soak right through, but I'm not too fast. Because it is really wet. I did use a lot of water, but I just don't want to waste this paint. So. Eek. So I don't want to waste this paint, so I'm just there. Uh, that's why, like, some in the past I've used like paper to put my paint on my marbles but um and then you can reuse the paper for something else. I'm just gonna put this up here to dry. Um and then the rest I'll just in fact I'll just put it on this as well. Because I've got like lots of bit paper here so I've got a full book that I just I've read several times, so I just rip the paper out of that. So we go. I've got some book paper with uh, some paint on it too, and that will do for something else. And then I'll just get another wee wipe down with the. the week and I need to do my hands again because they're really messy so um, now for the next colour which is going to be green I don't know how this is going to look but it doesn't really matter on the way so I'll just put a wee drop green why is it not coming out because it's got a cap on it in fact, do you want to know what? I might just do silver. That's what I might do. That's what I'll do, in fact, I'll do the silver. Because that's um, nice and money as well, so that's good. It's always thick. And you can either just clean your own mirror or marble or just use a new one, which I'm doing. Just make sure it's got a good cover on it. And same as before, just drop it in and roll. And just keep rolling until the marbles more or less clean. Which it is now. And give it another wee coat. And repeat. So, I've not been well the last few days. Uh, I've been ill since Monday, last Monday. Um, today is actually Saturday, and I thought I would get myself prepared and uh, do the video ahead of time. So. It's just a matter of me posting it on Monday morning. There you go, guys. So there we go. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think. Because that's kind of still a cool part in here. I think I'll just leave it like that. But obviously I'm going to do more. So I will keep my paint for the next page. 
Okay, I'm off. So, there you go guys, this is what I've got. Really cool palm. And it really doesn't take that long to dry. You can, like, dry it or you can just put it aside. Um, I'm just going to get another baby wipe just to, um, dry my hands so it doesn't, well, wipe my hands. So, and then I'll try and pull this up. And it's really fun. And you get really cool palms, there you go. See? So it's really cool, you can get really cool effects. Um, so basically you want to do a good few of these. Um, you want to do maybe, s I don't know, about maybe three or four. Mm, depending on the size of your beer bottle, uh, because you're going to be covering the beer bottle with this paper. Um, so you may need about, I'd say maybe about four sheets. Um, so maybe do about four sheets with the same colours, or if you do want to change it and make it different colours, it's up to you. But you're going to be using it to cover your bottle, so. I would do it the same, but it's entirely up to you as what you want to do. And there you go, guys. It's not that you get really cool bits of tape as well. So there you go that you can reuse for another project. So that's good as well. So I like that idea because now I've got tape that I can use something else, really cool tape. And as I say, you can either blow dry it or whatever, if you want to dry it, you can. Uh, or you can just um, let it dry on its own, which I would probably do. So I'm going to do another page, um, same colours again. But I'll start with the silver this time. And I might just reuse my tape. Which side do I want to do it? Which side? Because this is more writing. I'm just going to reuse this tape instead of putting more tape on. And I'm getting covered in paint and all sorts. It's even up my arms and everything. Look. <laughs> God knows how it's ended up up my arms, but yeah, it's up my arms. And yeah, I definitely like the tape up, taping it down idea because the marbles didn't go under. So I'll do another one and then I'll let you do it yourselves and you can have fun with it. Mm. should be secure enough I think. So I'm going to go on with the silver this time because the silver's out. Start with the silver, drop it in, same as before, roll, roll, roll. See, look, this is what I mean about it not being taped down because it gets stuck. So I need to tape that bit down. I'm just going to wipe my fingers on here. So I need to get another wee bit of tape just to tape that corner down. Really itchy nose today.
so there's no work in this time as well as it was. It works better with the red first, maybe. Well, it's just not covered enough. Might need a bit more paint. I love doing this, it's really fun. And as I see, you get really cool effects. Give me two seconds guys, I'm just going to quickly blow dry this index card so that I can um, use it to mop up the silver as well because I think the red and the silver will look good together. So just give me two seconds guys. Excuse the noise. I'll put a wee touch though because it's kind of oh. there we go a cool index card for later and the rest As I said, you will go through baby wipes with this as well. But I know that some people use the baby wipes for their art. Uh, I don't really, but I really should. But I may in the future. And I just want to try and sprinkle a wee bit of water on here. I don't want it too watery, but I also don't want it too thick because then marbles aren't going to work properly. So it's 
time to get messy again. Drop and roll. As I say, you can use as many colours, marbles, as you want. You can even put two in at the same time, which I'll do just now, just to show you. one is going to be different so that's the good thing about it and you can always if you get any extra in your hands just rub it into the paper and it gives it more of an effect oh there you go so that's his second page so there you go guys that's how you do marble effect paper and as I say do a bit maybe another I'll do maybe another three or four of these um, and then I may do some more different colours a different tape from the next ones because this one's losing its stickiness and I'm going to um, go now now that I've showed you what to do and let you go have fun and uh, I was going to let you dry naturally but I'm just going to dry them There you go guys, that's my other page. So have fun guys and I uh, can't wait to see your results of your pages. Um, please post them and let us see them. Um, and if you want to join, if you aren't a member of International Crafters on Facebook and like the ideas of these challenges and would like to take part um, and share your your results then uh, come and join us at International Crafters on Facebook. I will leave the link in the description for you all and hope to see you all soon. Bye! Thanks for watching.